everyone and welcome to the start of my third trimester vlog. It feels slightly weird to be starting this video not knowing like the situation of the world when you watch this video in like two and a half months time. When I was ending my second trimester video I felt like I could talk about what was happening because the video was going to go up in like a couple of weeks anyway but this feels like really weird having like absolutely no clue what the state of the world is going to be like. I really hope for everyone's sakes that we are in a better state. Today is Tuesday the 7th of April. It has just gone 146. I am technically working from home today but I just came into the nursery which Nick has started working on at the moment as you can see. We've just taken all the walls down. By the time you see this video I'm pretty sure I will already have my uh, like nursery renovation video and then also my nursery tour up so there'll be cars to them up above. But because we are in the nursery I figured I might as well give you a bump update because I feel like my belly has definitely grown over the last couple of weeks. This is what we're looking like. It definitely feels like it's gotten a lot bigger recently. It is April the 11th today. Oh hold on let me just shut that blind so that sun isn't coming in. Um, and Nick and I have basically been sitting on this couch all day because we have been having a virtual antenatal class. So we um, signed up for an antenatal class that was going to be three Saturdays in a row. This was the first one obviously it's the next two Saturdays as well. Um, the course was from like nine to three but of course because of um, all of the level four lockdown stuff we couldn't go and do the class in person so we've been on zoom all day and it actually worked really well. There were like seven other couples in our class mostly all around the same age and then this session covered things like um, car seat safety, breastfeeding, uh, the different stages of labour and things as well and then also from a dad's perspective to attach all the dads which was pretty cool. Um, so yeah I feel like I learned a lot, I took a few notes, got a few things that we need to research before the next session. I like to be organised and one of the things that makes me feel organised is if I'm doing a lot of research and feeling like I know everything. So I feel like lately I've been doing a heck of a lot of like reading and podcast listening and video watching all about like different people's perspective on different baby things so I kind of hoped that this class would still be informative for me and it definitely was it like went into heaps of different stuff um from like a New Zealand perspective as well because some of the videos I've been watching is from people like even just in Australia it's really different to New Zealand so yeah really interesting and informative day. If you watched my second trimester update I mentioned that there are a few things that we hadn't yet got for the baby that because New Zealand was in lockdown I wasn't able to get. The main thing that I hadn't yet got was a capsule like car seat. Over the last week or so I want to say I have noticed that more and more shops are available for essential items online which is great so it has meant that I have been able to order a car seat which is on its way it hasn't arrived yet but that's like a big relief to have that out of the way. There were also a few other items that I wanted to get that were counted as essential so I have gotten them and I figured I might just show you what they are. So the first thing I'm pretty sure it's from yeah it's from a New Zealand brand um, and it is a merino sleep suit so it comes with a little hat for the baby and then I don't really know how to show you this properly but essentially it almost acts as like dungarees and then it's a pouch for the baby and then there are these bits here so you can swaddle the arms nice and tight but it's uh, like hips and legs are kind of a bit more freer apparently it's good um, it stops like hip dysplasia or stuff for babies these were definitely not cheap for the fact that the baby is only going to fit them um, up until three months or like depending on how big it is because you can see that's kind of like as far as they go so it's not the biggest thing um but I bought two of them because I figured if the baby is wearing one and it like vomits or poos or whatever and it gets dirty then at least we have another one that we can change it into. I know you can just swaddle using like a blanket and a muslin and things like that but I just want to make sure that like our baby is going to be the most comfortable when they sleep and I don't quite trust my swaddling skills in the first instance because it's never something that I've needed to do. I also bought a merino blanket which has actually been lovingly handmade by uh, one of my workmates. Mums, if you live in New Zealand I'll leave a link to her um, store down below, it's called JB Merino. So the blanket that I got just looks like this, it's like a charcoal colour with yellow trimming. The other two things that I got are a baby view mirror for our car so we can keep an eye on the baby and then also a nappy bin. So yesterday while the sun was shining I washed and dried a bunch of of our baby's clothes and I thought what I might do is show you how I'm storing all of the baby's clothes. Um, I've been watching a bunch of like nursery tour videos and also kind of these videos on how people are storing their baby clothes and I've noticed people seem to either have a heck of a lot more room in their nursery or they just have a heck of a lot more stuff so they have like a bigger chest of drawers or a wardrobe or like other places to store 
their baby's clothes. We have two drawers in our change table where I'm storing all of baby's clothes and then two drawers in our linen cupboard which will have things like uh, towels and bibs and probably a few more blankets for if we're like leaving the house. I also though have two of these plastic bins which are pretty thin as you can see they fit underneath the crib and in here I'm storing all of the clothes and things that we don't need to have in the drawers just yet. So essentially I've got enough space in these two uh, plastic bins to have like newborn up until they're like a year old and hopefully you can store all of their clothes in there but for now in our uh, change table drawers I just have clothes from newborn to three months and then from like three months onwards everything is in here. I have done that A because we are a little bit lacking in storage so they don't fit in the drawers at the moment but also B I don't need to have those clothes there like they're still accessible so if our baby does become like a little bit of a chunky monkey and they grow faster then it's not like I have to go like running around the house trying to find clothes that are like three plus months because they'll just be under the bed but they're like washed and dried and all ready to go but they're just kept out of the way. In other news that I don't think I've updated you on yet our capsule arrived last Saturday so last weekend we put together our pram and then put the capsule on it and that was like a really exciting step as well to get that all ready. We have gone for the mountain buggy swift and we got it in the silver color which just means the frame of the buggy is silver and then the like fabric hood and then the fabric seat are like a gray color and then we have gone for the maxi cozy max Myco 30 capsule. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Welcome to my car, everybody. Um, Nick and I have just tested putting our car seat capsule into this car. It was a lovely sunny day and the car seat was just sitting on our lounge floor. So we figured we may as well um, take advantage of the sunshine and like figure out how to like put it into the car and how easy it is to like get it in and out of the car. This car is a Mazda Atenza, which I think is like similar maybe to like a Mazda 3-ish, I don't know. Um, but we did talk about maybe upgrading this car to one that's like like slightly higher off the ground so we won't be having to like bend over as far to like unclip the car seat and then put the car seat back in the car etc like every time we're leaving um which actually we just tried that and it's really not that big of a deal but the one thing that I didn't consider was how long the car seat is we have basically just had to move the passenger seat forward a little bit so like for me it's fine because my knees like are like this far away from um the dashboard but like Nick had to sit with his knees like all off to the side and wonky because he couldn't like fully get in the car so I don't know why I just like never considered the length of a car seat and how that would fit in our car so yeah I guess that's just a piece of advice in terms of something to consider if you are currently in the market for a car seat or a capsule so this morning I put our bassinet up in our bedroom this is where it's going to go at the end of the bed because I don't really have like all of that much room next to my side of the bed and neither does Nick but then we figured at least this way um we can both be like settling the baby if they wake up in the middle of the night the reason that we put the bassinet up today is that if any of you follow me on Instagram you may have seen this photo right here of of our cat Subi in um, the cot but she's not allowed to go in and we didn't think she could get into the cot like she's been in that room plenty of times when the cot was there and she's just kind of like sat underneath it or been like a little bit interested but never enough to jump up and then of course she jumped up and we have been trying to avoid putting her in the cot and trying to avoid that behavior altogether because of course when the baby's here we don't want her to like jump into the cot and like sit on them. We just put the bassinet in our room today I haven't bothered to put like any of the sheets or anything on uh, the mattress because I'm only like 33 and a bit weeks we don't need to be doing that yet but I was just curious to see if she would jump in there because although like from the ground it's quite high up if she's coming from the bed it's not like that much for her to jump through um, and so far so good she has like sniffed to the side of the bassinet but she hasn't jumped in so we might keep this here maybe overnight tonight and then put it away tomorrow just to see what she does. I've had like the um, nursery door open all the time and she hasn't jumped back in the crib so I'm fingers crossed that like that one time was just like a one-time thing but yeah we'll see how it goes this is what the belly is looking like at uh 33 weeks and five days today i'm pretty sure yesterday which was saturday the 16th for me was kind of like the first day that i said to nick i felt like properly pregnant i don't know if i just slept funny or if um it was like how I was sitting up in bed reading my book before I went to sleep but I had like a really sore lower back and this weekend is also the first weekend that New Zealand has kind of opened back up shops are open again you can go like shopping you can go and see like 10 of your friends there's like a currently limit on it you can only be like with 10 people um, 
but because of that we went out and were doing like a bunch of errands so we were walking around for quite a lot of the morning like basically all morning so I just don't know if it was like a combination of being on my feet all morning which I'm obviously not used to doing because we haven't done that for such a long time and maybe how I was sleeping but I felt like I was having to like put my hands like this on my back and kind of like lean back a bit when I walk just to try and relieve some of the pressure on my back luckily the pain has definitely gone I kind of just rested all afternoon yesterday and I had a wheat bag on my back so for now we're all good so last night I feel like I might have maybe had a few Braxton Hicks contractions um from what I thought I knew about them I thought they were literally like what a contraction would be like but obviously just like a fake contraction that doesn't lead to you actually having the baby um but in our antenatal class that we did our um the midwife who was taking the classes mentioned that they could also even be as early as like in your second trimester and they can just feel like the tightening of your belly like can get super tight um, and then it goes away after a couple of seconds sometime in the middle of the night and I woke up and my belly was like so tight that it wasn't painful but it was just quite uncomfortable and I like couldn't get like a deep breath to kind of like breathe through it but I like moved positions and it went away and then I got another one so I moved positions again and it went away um and then that's all so I don't know if that was a Braxton Hicks contraction or if it was I don't know just like something else going on um but it definitely has motivated me to start working on packing my hospital bag one of the pregnancy apps that I have mentions that you should start packing your hospital bag sometime around like 32 to 35 weeks and I am 34 weeks today actually so I figured now is like a good time to start um I've like ripped myself a list based on what I've seen on like various different uh apps that have packing lists and then also I've watched a bunch of people's videos in terms of like what I packed for the hospital versus what I actually used at the hospital um so those have been really helpful and then yeah I've just started chucking stuff into our spare room for now and then I'm sure eventually I'll get out a suitcase or a bag and actually like pack it properly today is Monday but on Friday a few of our friends came around for dinner which was so lovely because we obviously hadn't seen them since New Zealand had been in lockdown and not only did they bring us over some delicious cupcakes but they also well and truly spoiled our baby and brought over a massive basket full of goodies like clothes and then some fabric books and some like burp cloths and stuff that we didn't even have yet so basically in terms of like zero to three month clothing our baby is like totally set now so thank you very much if you happen to be watching this um since to Kurt or Mark it is super appreciative and we weren't expecting any of that so that just makes it even more special I am also just about to leave to go and get my hair cut I normally cut my hair myself because I'm not like terrible at it and I don't have like a straight bottom to my hair it's kind of all like layered so it doesn't really matter if it's not completely even but seeing as the baby is coming soon I thought I might treat myself to like one last pamper and I'm gonna chop off quite a bit so this is my hair length now and I think I'm gonna chop it to like there I don't know I've heard a lot of people say that the shorter your hair is a it's just easier to maintain um when you have like a newborn because you obviously like might not be in the routine of like showering and washing your hair as uh, often as you would normally do it also I just figured that if my hair ends about like here hopefully it might mean breastfeeding is a little bit easier because I'm not going to be having to like make sure my hair is like off my face and off my chest and also hopefully it'll be like less things for the baby to grab so yeah anyway this is it before and this is what it looks like after it all actually fits in the camera frame now which is pretty crazy um went a little bit shorter than I intended I initially wanted it to be like here um but I mean it's here right it's gonna grow back and my hair normally grows pretty fast so I'm not too worried I can still get it up in a ponytail I kind of feel like this is like the definition of a mum bob but I mean I'm about to be a mum so I can kind of see why mums have their hair short because it's like a lot less maintenance um but yeah I got the guy to do a deep conditioning treatment for it as well so now it feels like super lovely and smooth I think it's just going to take me a while to get used to the fact that like my hair stops here it doesn't like continue all the way down to here I have just finished work not only just for the day not only for the week but for the year which feels so weird to say when I was deciding when I was going to finish up uh for the year a lot of my workmates who have kids encouraged me to take at least like a week or two off um before the due dates so that I would have time a like if the baby came early that I would have like already finished my job but also to like do a lot of the stuff around the house that I might not have had a chance to do and also just relax and have some time to myself before the baby comes about a month ago I definitely started to second guess myself whether I needed to actually be taking 
two weeks off before the due date because a lot of the stuff that I was planning on doing in this time was things like washing all of the baby's clothes and getting all of that organized. I was going to make a bunch of meals for the freezer. But because I've been working from home now for like almost three months, I've been able to do a lot of that stuff like in amongst my work day as well. So I feel like I'm not going to have that much all to do. Um, but this last week I thought it was going to be quite chill and it's been super hectic. So I'm actually like really looking forward to just being able to have some time to myself hopefully and just like kind of relax and recoup and then just like get a few odd jobs done but also just like focus on taking it easy. Because I will no longer be working I thought that I would end this video here so I can edit it and upload it on the very off chance that the baby does decide to come early uh, but I will also now start doing like weekly videos of what I'm doing up until whenever the baby is born because I'm going to have a lot more free time. As I said I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be doing. I have like a lot of stuff on my Netflix watch list. I have a lot of books that I want to read and I have a few like uh, deep cleaning and like chores and jobs and stuff that I want to do around the house but hopefully I can make some kind of interesting content. I think because as I said I've been working from home it doesn't really feel like the end of anything right now because I'm kind of just like ending a Friday like I would normally end every other Friday with the exception of the fact that I've like turned on and out of office for the next year and I've like sent a bunch of emails to people being like okay bye and like logged out a bunch of accounts um but I think tomorrow Nick and I are going to take my desk downstairs will no longer be in the lounge and then I feel like on Monday morning that will kind of be when it sinks in that I'm like not having to work anymore um so yeah hopefully that will make for some interesting video content but I hope that you have enjoyed watching this trimester video uh up until this point anyway it's been one heck of a trimester like sure in terms of my pregnancy but also just in terms of like the state of the world over the last three months I'm like watching back this video uh that you're currently watching at the beginning I talk about like oh I like hope the state of the world is in a better place and I feel like sure New Zealand COVID wise like we're down to level one now and things are looking a heck of a lot better we don't have any cases of COVID in New Zealand but there's also a heck of a lot of other world issues still going on as well as COVID at the moment it still looks like Nick can't stay with me in the hospital but he can be there for all of labour and delivery and he can uh, come and visit me during visiting hours and I think that might change in the next couple of weeks just as we kind of like get used to level one so who knows by the time that the baby's born that might actually change it's a very strange time to be bringing a baby into the world knowing that 2020 is probably going to be like a year that a lot of like history lessons are taught on for the next however many years but that's all from me unless baby comes early i will talk to you all next week bye